hello you guys and good morning it is currently 10 o'clock on monday welcome to another weekly vlog this one is exciting it's also sad but we'll get into that okay so while we do this let's talk about the job so i start next week and i'm pretty excited i think it's gonna be a good use of my skills and it's also just like a direction that i want my career to head in which is obviously a pro you don't want to just get a job for the sake of getting a job. I was laid off at the end of last September and I honestly hadn't been trying that hard to find a new position just because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, I still don't really know what I want to do, but I'm excited for what this opportunity is going to look like. And basically, I will be a sales enablement specialist, which is the title that I had before I was laid off. And the main part of my role, like the biggest scope, will be onboarding new hires. So that's like training any new BDRs any new AEs and just managing their entire training process. And the company is mid-size-ish, but still pre-IPO. So like I got good stock options, which could obviously pay out very well in the future. Those are the details of the job. I'm super excited. And I'm gonna go back, sit at my desk and kind of work on a list of all the things that I wanna do in my final week of fun employment. <laughs> I have a bag of Amazon returns and I'm gonna run to Shoppers because they're having 20% off. I'm also gonna run to Loblaws to pick up a few things that I forgot to get in my grocery order. Look at me in the tower, you can't see it. 11.29, we got the job done in under an hour and I'm so happy with everything that I got. Um, the only thing that I couldn't find was like laundry powder, which is what you're supposed to use for the like stripping your laundry situation so i'm just gonna use pods because i literally couldn't find it the only thing i could find was like a giant thing of it and i just don't need that one i don't need it two i'm not gonna use it all three i don't have space to store it so let's go home. Hello, hello. I am now making us some dinner. Tommy's about to arrive, but I'm making this Mexi salad from the Mandy's cookbook and I'm kind of making it. I'm using it as like an idea and then I made my own dressing because I wanted to use, like make it a little bit more high protein. So I used skier, which is naturally lactose free. If you're a lactose intolerant girly, get this and it's higher protein than normal Greek yogurt. And then what I put in that is just some cilantro. I'm gonna put more in. Um, a quarter of a white onion, two garlic cloves, some lime. Um, so far it's the juice of a full lime, and a shit ton of cilantro, and then salt, pepper. I did actually put a little bit of sugar in, which normally I don't do, but I think I'm open to it. Why is this leaking brown liquid? It looks like real Mandy's. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am dubbing today Girl Errand Day. So we've got a few things to do. First, I am heading over to Go Laser for a laser treatment. I've been doing underarms and Brazilian for like almost two years. I love it. If you are in the Toronto area and you want laser, go there. They give you like a lifetime guarantee so that if you get pregnant and your hormones change, oh my God, that's a cute puppy. And your hormones change and hair grows back, you get to get the service again like get retreated basically which is obviously fantastic and like very important for young women especially but if you use my name you can get a discount and i can get a discount on future treatments because eventually i want to do my legs like that's how much i have loved my experience once we're done at go laser i am going to head over to honestly it's going to depend on the timing and like how driving works out but i want to do a plato's closet run i have to go to Sherway to return some stuff I could go to the Eaton Center, but I hate the Eaton Center, so I avoid it at all costs, and I can't park there. Like, parking at Sherway is free. 
Okay, this girl, Erin Day, I'm having the best time ever. Um, I just took a bunch of pictures at Summerhill, which is like the Erwan of Toronto. I took a bunch of pictures for a TikTok. I hope I took enough. Um, but I'm gonna show you my little haul. $53.60, which is a lot, but it's for the vibes, honestly. So I got a package of Happy Wolf. If you know, you know, I like the apple cinnamon flavor. I found a bunch of these at home, but they're a new company. So whenever I see them, I always buy just to support. I love them. They are meant for kids, but they're good. They're allergen friendly and we love, we love. And then I got Tommy some nut free chocolate chip cookies because he really loves a cookie, but he has a nut allergy. So it's often very challenging for him to find like a good cookie. So I hope these are good for him. And then I just got some Bonza, but I got the rigatoni. I've never seen the rigatoni before and we, don't really have this in Canada. It's very hard to come by. Oh, I see what they did here. That's so interesting. So the reason it's not really in Canada is because our labels have to be in English and French. So what they did, <laughs> that's so jokes. They put a sticker over top of the, what is this? Nutrition label that is in English and French so that they're able to sell it. That's jokes. They had a stunning beverage wall. So I just got my normal. Oh my God, this is being a little chaotic. I just got my normal um trilogy kombucha okay last two things is fruit i got this 50 percent off um pre-cut watermelon i'm gonna eat that now actually because i'm getting a little bit hungry i got cotton candy grapes because we never have them i'm gonna have one not washed just for the vibes cheers oh my god wait that's crazy anyways i just got the text that my plato's closet is ready to go pick up so i'm gonna go get it mm, the aftertaste of those grapes fucking delicious how's the watermelon let's see it's not really watermelon season yet so i'm gonna be surprised if it wasn't great to open it's a weird container. honestly it looks pretty fire mm. oh baby okay that's really fucking good let's go back to Plato's closet see if I make the money back I've already taken the stuff this exact same stuff to two Plato's closets before last week so I think it won't be much that I get but it's always worth a shot am I right okay let's go I went to Aloe and I did some damage they have a sale right now I got three things first I got socks I like this colorway just like gray vibes and then i got this hoodie which is like a it's not cropped on me because i have a tiny fucking torso but it's like an oversized cropped ish hoodie um and i got this in black and i got it in cream and after tax these are after discount these were 79 dollars each full price online for this is 160 dollars. so i actually basically got half off nice okay that makes me feel a lot better but I don't know what I'm going to keep, to be honest. It is Thursday, and I'm using today as my cleaning day because my space She's not doing well. So that's what's on the radar today. I just did the sinks, just the mirrors as you saw, cleaned the toilet already. Actually, I didn't clean the full toilet. I need to go get a toilet bowl cleaner. And then I need to do a shower, like the doors, because the doors are scummy as hell. This evening, we're skipping the rest of the cleaning to-do list because you don't care. This evening, I actually have a launch party for my part-time job, so if you don't know, I work part-time for this company called Puppy Sphere, which their whole like shtick is putting together Puppy Central or like dog centric, oh my God, dog centric events in the city for either dog owners or people that just love to be around dogs. They just moved into a new space and tonight is the launch party. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. And it's kind of fun because two friends from like real life will be there. One, Sarah Taylor, if you know her, you know. And then my friend Shelly, who I actually got laid off with, started working sales for the company. So she will also be there. And I'm excited because I haven't seen her in a little while. I don't know the last time I saw her. We went to a friend's place. I think that was the last time. That was like several months ago. Okay, so you and I are about to embark on a journey because I don't remember if I talked about this before, but this is what happens at, what time is it? Three o'clock in the afternoon. 
it is very bright. I am being absolutely blinded right now. That is because we are west facing and this is my desk. So I bought curtains and I bought an adhesive track. Let's try to figure this out. and then we'll do like the real reveal I guess. Hello you guys and happy Friday. It's my last day of freedom. Oh my god. I actually can't believe it. It is a really really weird thought. But anyways, it's currently, what time is it? 12.15. I am honestly just sitting at my computer getting some stuff done. I booked a dentist appointment. I booked an eye doctor. And then I just spent some time working on my mobility flows, which my idea is to have a five minute morning, five minute night kind of mobility moment with the morning being more dynamic to like warm me up for the day. And then the night one being a little bit more static. So that's like holding stretches um, to kind of help me calm down and do more like actual stretching but my issue is that i haven't run through the flows yet but i think they're gonna be way longer than five minutes and i want to run through them but but i have a 1 30 booty hit class and then a 2 30 flow and restore which the flow and restore is like pretty yoga heavy so i don't know that i want to do all of this testing before doing those classes but anyways that's what i was doing and i need to eat food because i have just over an hour until my back to back classes, and then I think I will also go to a sauna afterwards. I am gonna call it on this week, which means that my unemployment era is officially over and. Before I go, I just wanna say one, thank you for coming along on this week with me if you're still here in this video. Um, but I also wanna say thank you for coming along on the last few months with me. It has been a weird time for sure. Um, losing my job was not something that I could ever see coming. But I really do stand behind the idea that it was the best thing that could have happened to me because I was so, so, so not in a good place when I did get that call saying it was done. And now I really just feel like a better version of myself and I'm literally getting emotional because of it, but no, I didn't accomplish everything that I wanted to during this period, but I think I made some really big strides towards the type of person that I wanna be and the type of person that I wanna show up as in the world. So, okay, anytime I get kinda of teary, my tip of my nose just gets bright red. This next period of my life will be a huge transition. Um, I am going from one being unemployed to being employed again and having to kind of shift my life and my routine around working nine to five corporate hours again. But also I have spent the last seven months in my house. Prior to that, I spent most of the previous like three years working a hybrid model and I haven't been five days in office since August of 2019. So that's borderline five years and it's just gonna be really weird. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, bye.